Welcome once again everyone. Today we have another good recipe. Hot and spicy seafood with fried rice. So let's get into this video. So there we have some scallops and I'm going to be seasoning them with some spices. You can use whatever you like. And then I'm going to be ma um, massaging my seasonings into my scallops. If you like what you see here, be sure to subscribe, turn on that notification so as not to miss any of our videos and to keep us encouraged, leave a comment as well. And so you see I'm drying my shrimp and I'm using about the same seasoning that we used on the scallops. And I've added some cornstarch to it, mix it together and let it rest for about five to seven minutes and there i have some ahi tuna that i've cut into different shapes and i'm adding some seasonings to that as well and then i'm massaging in my cornstarch and my spices so there is the finished product and we're now we're gonna get into making that hot and spicy sauce so there i have about half a teaspoon of unsalted butter I have some chili paste I have some hot sauce that I'm going to be adding as well and then I'm going to be adding some spices and chicken broth to the mix and as you can see I don't use any measurements so you can use as much as you'd like or as little as you'd like and so we have garlic powder um, our Creole seasoning, onion powder, black pepper, smoked paprika, just to give that flavor. And then I added some chili peppers, lime, vinegar, honey to cut down on the heat. And then I'm once I taste it and I gauge if it's too hot, then I added um, a, a teaspoon of brown sugar just to cut down on that heat so if the heat is too much for you you just add some sugar to kind of balance the heat and the sweetness and then you know the lime juice gives it a little tangy and so there you see I'm using a plastic spoon once you see it coating the spoon you know it is ready and so there now I'm frying all my seafood I've added oil and butter to a skillet and I'm going to let my scallops go first just to get that brown coating on the bottom within a minute minute and a half you can flip over and I've added some thyme and garlic to that oil just to give the seafood some flavor and you see I got that nice brown color after about a minute minute and a half and you just flip the other side and you remove them and you can drain them on a paper towel or on a rack if you'd like and then we're Moving on to our shrimp, you give them two to three minutes on each side until they get that um, pink color, then you know they're ready. Once they're done, you remove and put on the napkin. I'm to drain and there I'm adding my ahi tuna to my oil. We're gonna brown that again three to four minutes on each side just to get it um, having that brown color and then you flip it. We thank you so much for watching our video. We truly appreciate it. And leave a comment to keep us encouraged we thank you so there in a skillet I just added about a teaspoon of oil and I'm adding all my seafood back to the skillet and then that sauce that we made earlier the hot and spicy sauce we're just gonna pour it over and let it coat our seafood on medium flame medium to low flame is good here because we're just trying to get the spices infused in our seafood and then you see I'm just using it to base on top which is very important to 
get the spices all over if you are having a hot and spicy seafood. You can smell the goodness in the kitchen as we do this and then I'm sprinkling some green onions on top and some freeze-dried um, chives and then I'm going to show you how I plate. Look at the goodness, it smells so good in here. So there I'm putting my rice and then I'm just going to pour my hot seafood all over my fried rice. You can find the recipe for my fried rice. Enjoy! Yeah.